Yo. What's up, everybody? Hope you gamers are doing well. It's Monday, June 8th, 2020, 147 p.m. local time. 51 seconds. Oh, 53 now. I was too slow. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Um, this might not be a very long stream. Maybe it will be. I don't know. I'm feeling a little not that great, but my stomach's been bothering me. But other than that, I'm fine. Uh, we're going to play Monster Train today. Uh, some of you may have already seen other streamers play this game. It's a card game. Um, I'm not starting from scratch. I've actually been playing it for... I got it like two days ago and I already played a bunch of it. But this is my first time streaming it, so... You know. Cool. Uh, it's, it's cool. It's an interesting game. I'll talk about it while I'm playing it. Um, it's a card game. I'd say it's a kind of a hybrid of almost like Darkest Dungeon and, uh, I mean, it's got aspects of Hearthstone. It's more like Magic the Gathering in some ways. I mean, Hearthstone is basically Magic the Gathering. Um, and a little bit of Slay the Spire in there. It's a different game and that's, I, I, I like it because it's different enough. Um, there's some things that I, I, I don't particularly love, but, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. I've been having a lot of fun playing it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I don't have anything else interesting to say. Oh, I got a spicy water here. We can open that up. Here, I'll mute the, the music for a second so you can have some spicy water ASMR. This is the lemoncello one I was talking about. All right, well, let's get a pour in there. Ooh, fizzy. Uh, this this lemoncello flavor one kind of tastes like, I mean, it tastes like lemoncello, but if you've never had lemoncello, it tastes kind of like, um, uh, kind of like lemon shortbread cookies, if you've ever had those before. Mm. Yeah, it's a good one. All right. Let's play video games. Um, I can close this. I hope you're all doing well and things are good in your life, as good as they can be. I got a lot going on this month. I'm probably, I think I said it last stream, but like for this, uh, for this month expect maybe one stream a week if that but we'll see um shortbread so technically a shortbread is a any type of biscuit or bread or baked good that um uh or it, you could call it a quick bread too shortbread's typically associated with like a sweetened cookie but they're basically baked goods that use short leavening methods so you're either either using something like baking soda or baking powder versus um allowing fermentation to create bubbles and air in your dough um but i mean cloak colloquially colloquially cloak cloacally um shortbread usually refers to a cookie that's just like it's literally like flour butter and sugar um, so they're kind of sandy and crumbly. Yeah. Um, I remember there was a shortbread recipe that I used to always use and it was simple, but now I can't actually remember which things were which, um, it was three parts, two parts, one part of something. I think it was three parts flour, two parts butter and one part sugar. Ugh. Excuse me. Um, I'm probably wrong. It's been a long time since I actually made any shortbread cookies. Enough uh, black screen here. Let's play monsters. Um, let me make sure. Video game. Uh, did I play a lot of the game? I've played not a, a lot. I'm I just unlocked the Umbra. Well, I have one win 
with the Umbra, and I'm I'm only like rank three. There there was kind of a I've there's kind of a, a um once they start adding the new monsters. Ah. Oh, it's very quiet. But one spark. I'll let the, the intro play. Actually, you know what? Let me fix the volume really quick. Let's see. Um, maybe like around here is good. Can I replay the intro? I guess not. Um, yeah, I'd say that's actually, Comrade, that's one of my early critiques. Hey, look, that's my desktop. Why is my window capturing my desktop? That's weird. Hail, our home. Frozen when heaven extinguished the pyre. One spark is enough to reignite a revolution. The Bone Shaker, our train, travels the rail connecting our two worlds. The last surviving remains of the pyre drives the heart of our engine. Wing will stop at nothing to destroy it. But the champions of hell will defend what's ours. Because if we don't, there will be nothing left to defend. Wow. Um, I'd say that. So you'll see in the game. This game has enough original stuff going for it. You got to remember, too, that like games like Hearthstone and the like aren't really all that original. I played a lot of customizable card games when in the 90s when they were really popular. I played I still have a lot of my cards, too. Uh, I played Magic the Gathering. I played the Star Trek TNG card game. I played uh, Netrunner. I played, there was a SimCity card game that I played. Uh, there was a Star Wars card game that I played. Um, I played Pokemon a bit, but I didn't really like the game mechanics. I just collected the cards for a while. Um, never played Yu-Gi-Oh! That was kind of after my time. Um, yeah, from, from a lot of, I mean, from a mechanics standpoint, it's still very, Magic the Gathering in some ways. The biggest thing between like Hearthstone or this is that compared to uh, like Magic the Gathering, they simplified resources. Like they simplified in, in Magic, you play land cards and land gives you mana to summon creatures and cast spells and stuff. But they kind of instead for these games, you know, they resort to just doing energy. Um, I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh's mechanics at all, so I, it's kind of hard for me to uh, compare that to anything. Yeah, I don't even remember how you played the SimCity card game. I just remember it had these really long cards that were like double the length of normal cards that were like for special buildings. The Star Trek card game, the TNG card game, is actually like one of my favorites, to be honest. It has really interesting mechanics, and there are a lot of cool references. But unfortunately, there's a there's a, a an a online Star Trek card game, but it's not the same thing as the one that was made by Decipher in the 90s. Anyways, let's play uh, single player. So I have played um, already. I think I'm level five with the first two. Um, Hellhorned and Awoken. Yeah, Cole's saying Hellhorned and Awoken is the easiest combo. For sure. So, um, also, let me know if the game is too loud. Um, so, you get these different clans. Uh, you pick a primary one, which determines your like hero card, your champion, and then you pick an allied clan um, that you just get other cards. A bit loud right now. Okay, good. Um, 
put it like there. Yeah, the animation's a little janky. I don't hate the art of the game. I think it's fine. I think it's a good looking game for, for being a card game. Um, so uh, you have different clans. You pick a primary clan, which gives you a champion card. And then your allied clan, you basically can get units and spells uh, from. Um, I just unlocked the Umbra and I got a win with them on rank two. Um, I've been trying to get, uh, let me see if I can actually show it, um, in the logbook, maybe. Uh, does this have my runs? So, these are my wins, so far. Um. Um. Run history, there we go. Um, so... Once I got to rank three, I started having a lot of trouble. So I waited uh, until I unlocked Umbra and then I did another rank two run. I feel like the balance of the game, the difficulty wise, they kind of expect you at certain points to like do runs on easier levels and not always on the max level. Um, but maybe I'm just bad at the game. Um, although my last run I did Umbra and uh, Umbra and Hell, Hell, Hellhorned, and I really liked them. So that's probably what I'm going to do on rank three because I really want to get higher rank. Um, so each each one of the uh, the clans has different mechanics. Um, Hellhorned are really like physical damage based tanky units with like rage mechanics. Uh, Awoken are very card draw and tanky based. Um, Stygian Guard is like blue in blue mana in uh, Magic the Gathering. It's like all caster based for the most part. Uh, Umbra is kind of weird. They use this like eating mechanic and you use um, uh, like these morsel crit creatures, creatures that you eat. Um, I like them. I, at first, I played them, and I was like, wow, these guys suck. And then I figured out how to use them properly. So, um, Your dog's wet but wants to get on your bed and is getting upset. Put him uh, in the dryer. Don't do that. Uh, that was a joke. Don't do that. That's how AVGN's cat died. Anyways. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do Umbra with Hellhorned. I'm pretty sure it was either maybe I'm thinking of someone else on Twitter. No, it was his like housekeeper. I don't maybe it wasn't AVGN. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. I saw it on Twitter though. Someone's housekeeper accidentally killed their cat because it was like in the dryer with a bunch of clothes and the housekeeper just closed the dryer and started it. Yeah, it's, it's shitty. It could be worse. Let me tell you a cool story. Not very cool. I, have, I think I've told this before. I have some traumatic animal stories from when I was a kid. One of them, my one of my cats had kittens. Let's see, what are we starting with? Oh, this is nice. Um, one of my cats had kittens when I was probably like seven or something like that. And um, I was uh, I was young. I was yeah, probably seven. And I was like, I had the fridge open and I was getting something out of the. Oh, it was Linus. Oh, Linus Tech Tips. That's right. It was Linus, not AVGN. I don't know why. I know AVGN's cat died too, so I had my brain got him confused. Anyways, I was in the fridge getting like a snack, and one of the kittens like came up to look at the fridge. And the fridge I had as a kid, when you like let go of the door, the door just would swing closed. Not really hard, but you know, it was a big door. And the cat had its head uh in the in the, like looking in the fridge. I shouldn't laugh. But like it closed and the cat like kind of squeaked and I remember like freaking out and um, I went to the zoo that day and I was really sad though it was like a field trip and I uh, <laughs> and I um, I remember my mom or my dad called my mom to tell me while we were at the zoo that the cat died the kitten I also had a hamster one time that one time I went to go pick up and it, I guess it, it was dead well it was definitely dead. And when I picked it up, its guts fell out. It was gross. Um, oh, these aren't the best. Uh, 
I mean, this could be good. Not really. I, I've had this artifact help me out a lot before because you can put... It lets you overfill the middle floor. Yeah, I'm done talking about sad pet stories now. Um, but it can really fuck you up, too. I almost want to restart this run, but it'll lose my win streak. So I guess we'll just use the shitty artifact. Um, I've won with that 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 middle one before, but... Okay, so here's our, our champion. Uh, and we get to choose... Um, there are different, like, trees for each champion, and they kind of combine depending on what you pick. Um, personally, I've had much more success with uh, the monstrous tree with this guy. Um, so we'll see how this goes. The trample really helps early on. I will say, so one of my biggest criticisms of the game so far, maybe it gets better at later ranks, but the early game fucking sucks. Because the thing is, in the early game, you have your champion, and then you only have these shitty train stewards, and then maybe you get um, some creatures in your early card drop. But, like, I, I hate the train stewards. There's some ways you can make them work to your advantage, but in general, they just kind of piss me off. All right, so uh, let's get our homie out here. Um, let's see. We can extend the floor. Um, let me think. Um, let's go with... Yeah, let's go with extending the floor first turn. And then we'll get one of these guys. So you put these little morsel guys out, and then at the end of uh, combat, um, they get eaten by your other units. They can be used on uh, units other than the Umbra cards, but there are certain Umbra cards that have like a special bonus when they eat something. Uh, you can tell me, um, I can tell you that all the card base the game give you is shit. You need to remove all- yeah, I pretty much always remove shit. Um, so the way combat works is, so you have three floors. I mean, some of you have already seen this. I don't need- feel like I need to explain it that much, but, um, you have three different floors. Enemies attack first, and then your guys attack first. Um, if the enemies don't die, they move on to the next floor. They don't stay and keep fighting. Um, so the ideal thing is to clear enemies out before they can reach, you know, your higher floors, depending on how you have things set up. But um, It's pretty straightforward, to be totally honest. Uh, let's see. Get one of these guys. So you can see each of these little little guys have different things. Like this one, when he gets eaten, he'll give plus five, plus five to what whoever eats him. This guy is just gonna give me one energy. Uh, Umbra is really focused on um, uh, mana burn, the mana burn mechanic, in a lot of ways. But there's a payoff because you can get. Damage shield and life steal, which can make your units pretty invincible. Uh, trample only applies to whoever has it on their actual card. And it's basically the damage will go through as many people as there is damage, essentially. So. Uh, so the other mechanic is at the end of each, another major mechanic is at the end of each fight, there's a boss fight, and they become relentless, which basically means combat keeps going until either all your guys die or the boss dies, and then they seal off the floor and move to the next floor, um, which is a cool mechanic, uh, my only thing with it, um, is that I do kind of wish there's some builds, like some deck builds, 
where I kind of wish it still allowed you to like play spells at a certain phase during like the relentless fights. Cause basically it's like you have to set up your shit and then you can't play any cards until either all your guys are dead or the boss is dead, which is fine a lot of the time, but there are some times where it's really annoying because you might have a bunch of cards that like, or if you have a deck uh, focused around card draw and then you can't use any of the cards you're drawing, it's a little weird. Um, so let's see, you get to pick cards. Uh, we can apply trample, excavation, deal 20 damage, random unit four times. That's kind of cool. It's expensive though. I don't even have enough mana to cast it. Um, I like um, this um, based on my previous runs. I'm gonna get Perils of Production. And then let's see. Uh, um, Ritual of Battle can be good when I upgrade it. One of the things is a lot of the strategy in this game I feel like comes more from how you, the parts in between the actual combat than the combat itself. Um, if you're focusing on Rage Ritual, Battle can be good. You just reduce cost and double stack, and it makes it worth it. But I'm probably going to take Fortify instead. Because um, since I'm maining Umbra, I would kind of prefer uh, to have... Um, uh, to have more zero-cost cards, since I'm going to be Ember-drained a lot. Um, so I have two options, uh, between each fight you get options of different things. So I can get an Umbra unit or a Hellhorn unit, depending on which way I go, and I can either upgrade spells or upgrade units. Um, the thing is I really don't have many units worth upgrading right now, but I do have spells worth upgrading. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go this way. Um, mm. This is a tough choice because these are both actually pretty good. I'll probably take Morsel Master. Wait, I only have five slots on my... No, I have six slots to start, right? Am I dumb? I had two... Yeah, I can use Morsel Master. Let's take Morsel Master, and then let's see about spells. Morsel Master, yeah, if you're full, um, he'll still uh, he'll still summon two. There are a lot of different ways you can go over the uh, the size limit on each floor. Not really the best shit here. Probably reroll. Um, let's do that. Let's waste some gold. Wow, got the same shit. Um, let's do this. Alright. Umbra. 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 Aha. I don't know, say it however you want. It's video games. Alright, next battle. So with Umbra, if you get the right accessories and cards, you can almost like rely entirely on your, your morsels. So like battles like this are fucking great for the um yeah, so it so it is for. I do need to use the extension. That was a mistake to actually get the Morsel Master, in my opinion. I do have the extension card though, so I guess it's not a big deal. Because I need one space to be able to place the morsels that this guy uh, duplicates. Um, but like fights like this are where trample or sweep are great. Um, a lot of fucking damage, though. 
So these guys also, like, this guy in the back is giving them haste, which means they're a bunch of different enemy buffs, but basically if they move to the next level, they actually skip the middle floor, which isn't good. Um, let's see what I can do here. Smart thing would be to do this. I'll get two of those, so I'll get plus ten, plus ten. Um... Realistically, I could kill one of these to get less damage, but I think I'd rather get the gold up here. Um, apply range, rage to, uh, let's see. The imps will come in handy if I get like imp sacrifice cards. Oh, so this guy, this is a great one to draw. So this will give life steal, which basically life steal and damage shield are like the two core components of like playing as Umbra because it basically makes it so even if you ha don't have a ton of health on a unit or armor or anything like that, you can still um, uh, have a lot of survivability. But you can see with the amount of space, because this guy is huge. Uh, the floor capacity, so you have a limited amount of space. There are lots of different ways you can expand it, but um, like that card I have. But uh, if you move units between floors, they can go past the floor capacity. If you have things like the duplicate thing, they can go past the floor capacity. Um, that trinket at the very beginning that I didn't take that f puts four random creatures from your deck on the middle floor, that can go over floor capacity and can be really good. Um. All right, so um, yeah, this is pretty. If you do the trample penumbra, the early game is very easy. I've found. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I don't really even need to do a whole lot else. <laughs> See, his life steal. Life steal, it does as much healing as damage that you do. So if you have a um, a character that does a lot of damage like that, it, they'll they'll be able to stay alive pretty long. And life steal stacks, and it's based on per hit. All right, so ooh, this is a tough choice because I really like space prism. But a mortal trade is really good. Even though Ember Drain sucks, like this, you, Umbra is really about managing, um, managing it. See, the thing with space, the thing with space, if I use it, like say on the main floor where the, um, where the, my champion is and I use the other space card I have, I won't go over pe capacity, so I actually won't even be able to place more um, more units. Uh, Ember Drain is a, a debuff on it, on your unit that ticks down like uh, regen or like uh, rage does, but it removes one of your energy or for each stack that turn. But I'm gonna take the life steal because I know I want it. Um, hmm. I'll take another imp. All right, let's see. We can do spell upgrades or unit upgrades. Uh, I think we're going to go this way so we can get another unit. Morsel maker. Uh, I, I haven't seen this guy before. Resolve. Uh, after combat, summon an Antumbra morsel and magma morsel in this room. Eater gains plus three health and plus three. Uh, hmm, that could be interesting. I wonder if morsel master's trigger ability gets tr will trigger on this. Let's try him. 
Um, let's go to upgrade our units first. Upgrade a unit with multi-strike. Uh, I, I would normally do this on certain units, but I don't really have anything that's worth doing it on. Um, probably put damage on this guy. I don't really need health on this guy. Um, because these guys are always, if most floors, they're always going to be on the back. So I'm just going to remove, yeah. Get rid of these fucking train stewards. It's also your order in which you do the shops and stuff is actually pretty important too. Because like these caverns are like random events. Sometimes you can like duplicate cards and stuff like that. So usually upgrading first is usually pretty worth it. I don't think I've seen this guy before. You see a tent before you. You see the winged hiding near it. You prepare for a fight. Mercy, please. I mean no harm. I was left here by my so-called people. Bah, traitors, all of them. They didn't even leave me with anything to defend myself. The gall. Turns out this fight isn't as clear as we once thought, huh? Perhaps you, Hellborn, can prove more generous than our friends above. I promise to give it back to you later in perfect condition. Leave some aid. Purge a unit. Get an upgraded version later. Purge a spell. Get an upgraded version later. Hmm. I could leave him like a shade splitter. I don't know what the upgrade actually is. I don't, I want to get rid of train stewards, but I don't want to get back an upgraded train steward later. I'll try it with the um, shade splitter because I have two m morsel maker cards. So I have enough creature generation. I've never gotten that event before, so I'll, I'm interested to see how that works out. All right. This motherfucker. Okay, that sucks. Constructed explosives explode twice. I hate that one. Wish I got the damage shield one. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So this is the first major boss. Um, so here's the thing. If I do this guy and this guy, and then I expand the size, I just, I don't want to fuck myself over by accident. Yeah, the copy guy, until I know for sure, I don't want to fuck it up on the boss. At least I got the extension on my first draw. See, now this is risky because my guy is potentially going to die here. My guy, 100%, I, is going to die here. Uh, wait, I have 10. No, he's not going to die. So let's do this and we'll put this here. Um, let's throw out the train steward. It would be really nice to get some cards to upgrade max HP and stuff, other than life steal and damage shield, but um okay, let's see. Um That wasn't worth it. 
Hmm. So, I don't have a... I'll have to kill my own imp. Wait a minute. So, it's going to be 4 plus... Tw I don't actually think I can survive this. Because if I use the imp... Yeah, I guess I could put him up front. That'll destroy the bomb, and he'll take one of the hits. This is a shitty situation. Um... I'm gonna give this guy plus five, plus five, and I'm gonna give him armor, too. Because these guys... Um, one of them is going to die. When I won with Umbra in the past, um, I, I had him on the middle floor, but that was only because I had a, a thing that, um, thank God I got this. Um, oh wait, it's not actually going to matter, is it? Because for life steal to work, he needs to attack first. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm. My hero's gonna die. So I can give him armor. I can kill one of these guys. Yeah, I could... Mm. I hate using the good ones as shields, but... Okay, so that'll um, block out the first two attacks. And then... Uh, fortify... Um, and then... Probably give him lifesteal. And then uh, I should probably take out this. Uh, I, even with that, I wouldn't be able to kill this dude, so. Uh, I'm definitely going to take damage uh, on my thing, probably. One HP, Jesus. Alright, let's see. So, I don't have enough uh, energy because of me using um, my shit last time uh, to, to summon this guy. But we can at least buff him. Probably the best course of action. I mean, I won't even take damage because I have armor. I don't know if uh, getting hit with armor counts against your score. So I'm going to be doing 230 damage. Um, hmm, this is rather unfortunate. Can give extra health and that's about it. Uh, I mean, I'll give him rage, I guess. Um, I 
Yeah. I think, I mean, I'll be able to beat the boss. It's just... I'll probably take engine damage. Um, let's see. What's the best way to do it? Uh, let's do more soul. Give him plus five, plus five. Uh, let's go fortify. Let's use this just in case. That's going to do 60 damage, which isn't great. Yeah, it sucks. He doesn't have enough health to actually deal with this guy effectively. So yeah, I'm gonna take some damage. Which is fine. I prefer not to take damage on the bosses. I mean, it's better than dying to the boss, I guess, right? Alright, so we get a few things. We get a rare card. Um, ooh. Probably gonna take the Hellhorn Spike. I haven't tried Wretch yet. Um. But I'm gonna take this. Alright, let's see. Uh. Alpha Fiend. Could be good. Crucible Warden could be good. Crucible Warden would be good on the first floor. Uh, normally, in instead of the Alpha Fiends, I get the other big guys a lot of the time. I don't really think I need another Morsel Master. Because I have that other guy that I can't fit right now. And then for this, I think I want to get... I, I either want energy or capacity. I think capacity it, it would probably be more beneficial overall. Um, although energy would be nice too. Let's do capacity. My last Umbra run, I started with a... a an accessory or a trinket that gave me plus two capacity on my middle floor. So I didn't worry as much about capacity. Okay, so we either get healing, gold, and an accessory, or we get unit, ditch cards, and card dupe, which um, card dupe could be really good right now. No store on either side. Artifact could be really good, though. Yo, Atax, thanks for the reset, dog. Damn, 19 months. Um, yeah, this is probably the smarter choice. I'd love to get another accessory, but... Um, let, let's see. We're gonna get rid of these motherfuckers. Um, maybe I should get rid of a torch also and leave one steward because I still well I am getting a new unit Let me see what my new unit is first Oh shit The alpha fiend Um, let's see duplicate um Duplicate. What can I... 
I'm thinking a crucible extension. Either extension, a mortal trade, or uh, making of a morsel. These are the three I'd duplicate. I think a mortal trade's better. Extension sounds nice, yeah. I wish I had more upgraded units to possibly duplicate, but. Mm, these are temp tempting. All right. Yeah, let's duplicate dead weight. <laughs> All right, I'll try extension. And then we get to upgrade our champion, which is great because now we get to be 80-50 with trample. And we're even bigger. So yeah, those extensions are actually going to come in handy. Um, I want to keep going big boy because he's too fragile with 25 health, especially moving forward. And with some cards I can potentially get later on, I, I want to keep... Uh, the high trample. It's nice that this guy comes in with two lifesteal, but we're gonna go big. And hopefully it pays off. I hate these guys. These guys suck with uh, Umbra, because you don't always have a lot of mana. Alright, um... I think this time we're going to put him in the middle. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I can nuke my own imp if I need to. Yeah, I, one of the things I do like for sure is that like when the size of units increases through like buffs and other stuff that their actual size in the game increases. Um, all right. So yeah, let's put Warden up top for now. Um, I'm wondering if I want to put Morsel Master. Here and wait to expand or just put him up here for now. Put him here. All right. All right. Um. Uh, yeah, we'll put Morsel Maker with this guy. Hold on one second. Let me first see. So he's going to die. Uh, you're going to take six damage. That'll leave me with one mana. feed this guy a little bit right now because I don't have room to to put guys there yet until I get one of my expand cards Um, 
So we're gonna definitely extend here. And... See, using my second extension on the middle floor isn't really a good idea right now because if I put a morsel down, it'll completely fill up. I can't put down two and get both of them duplicated. I can only have one duplicated unless I get the extensions again. So, um, I mean, yeah, maybe I could do it. Honestly, I'd rather protect this guy right now. Um, I don't really need life steal right now. Uh, if you have armor, I don't know actually with those if if it goes through or not. Let's torch that. Let's do that. Let's buff him. Uh, yeah, life steal would be great for him right now. I like how this deck is going. I I definitely could use some nice trinkets. So these guys are all going to die. That's to be expected. Um, I guess it doesn't matter where I put this guy. I mean, if I did plus five to him, I'll, I'll just put this up here. Okay. This guy has so many fucking damage shields now. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of those. Uh, 410. So if I give him life steal, I'm fine. Let's play this for the hell of it. Alright, not bad. This isn't a major boss fight, though, so. All right, cool. Um, ooh, I'm taking Cannibalize. Is I can use that on my imps. Uh, cannibalize, very good. I'll take that. And then... Hmm. Last Stand is really good. Especially with the big boy. Impolite can be good. Um... I don't have a lot of rage generation right now. I only have a little bit, but I mean, I rage with this type of deck that I'm doing, rage generation is definitely something I want. The direct damage from Impolate is nice. Oh, I don't know. It's one of these two. Forty-five direct damage. It's to the front enemy, though, which, you know, can be good, can be bad. Um, I also don't really have a lot of mana right now. The other thing, too, is I'm pretty sure the final boss um, cleanse all units of effects which don't... Yeah, so... 
I have to be careful if I focus on rage because the boss for tier three can remove beneficial buffs. So yeah, let's take Impel 8 for now. Oh, this guy. Uh, do you retrieve your donation? Heaven's aid. Add a copy. Oh, it duplicates the card. I mean, that's not terrible. It's not great. Um, I'll let him hold on to it. Maybe it'll get even better. Okay. Um, I think I want to go this way. Hell yes, this is exactly what I fucking wanted. This adds two capacity to the middle floor. Perfect. Um, and then let's see. Merchant of Trinkets. Ooh. So I can either conserve energy between turns. Or at the start of the turn, get a new morsel unit. Um, the mana drain stuff, the ember drain or whatever, will still affect me even if I don't... Um, even if I reserve shit. But yeah, the morsels is probably a better choice. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get it. More morsels, the better. Especially, there's a trinket that can give your morsels damage shield when they first get played. I got that on a run, and it was just like, they were, you could use them to prevent, like, all damage. I haven't seen this. Shards of the Pyre, remnants of a once great beacon of hell are strewn about. When it was extinguished, the shattered pyre must have been ejected through these hell vents across all nine rings. Taking advantage of the opportunity, some entrepreneurial soul decided to set up a still near the head hell vent converting what energy remained into potent liquids while the owner must have heard you coming and scrambled off some of their product remains um bone shine restore pyre health enhance um honestly i kind of don't want either of these I mean, restoring the Pyre health one seems pretty strong. But it's also an extra card. I mean, I am I guarantee you I'm going to be taking Pyre damage. Through this run. So, I mean, this could potentially save me. I think healing is probably better than... More damage. Because the damage isn't going to carry over. The health will. But it is an extra card. Hmm. The damage can help prevent more damage. Have a shield on it. I kind of don't want it. I'm not going to take either. I I don't want the that. With Umbra, the, I'm not going to... There are going to be a lot of times, especially later on, if I get the right cards, where I'm just not going to be able to cast anything but zero-cost cards, which conveniently all the morsels are zero-cost, plus uh, some other stuff. Ah, uh, these fucking guys. All right. This fucking guy. Let me think. I mean, he has to go in in the middle. Um, he's gonna get even bigger too, hopefully. Um, the the thing is, is I'm wondering what 
I don't think I should even put anything on the first floor right now. I can wait to put this guy on the bottom. The thing is, is I'm going to keep getting these guys. So first floor is a danger zone. Uh, there's not... I mean, four rage is going to be a bonus eight damage. Yeah. I mean, it consumes it, but... Uh, the boss on this... Um, this one, he can eat through... Uh, he can eat through damage shields pretty easily, but um, his lifesteal is good against him. Impolate's reusable, yeah. But I, I have no reason to do 45 damage to this one guy. And all of them will do more damage if I do that anyways. Yeah, I'm not going to do Ember Drain. More, more gold, at least. See, the problem is this guy's going to survive. Um... So this is what I wanted to see how this works. Gain energy. All right, here's what we're gonna do. So I'm, what I'm interested to see is, if, so when this guy summons two at the end of the turn, if those are going to get doubled or not. Um, could do rage. Don't need to, though. Uh, yeah, no, that works. I don't know if it was the best idea. Because now I'm... Uh... Okay, so there is eventually a limit. It's seven units no matter what size they are, I guess. I mean, I don't think I'm going to have any problems. Would extending that floor actually be helpful at all? No, he's always gonna... It's always gonna be over. I mean, I think it'll be fine, but I can't really give him life steal through uh, morsels anymore. I mean, it's good to know, I guess. I... 
Uh, and the thing is, is even if I'm able to like kill them with either my like uh, bolts or my fire bolts or like with sacrifice or something like that. I know there's a card that forces ev like a particular thing to be eaten, but I think I'll be fine. I just, I don't think I should do that in most fights. I think it's smarter to give the guy that automatically generates him to the, to the key master guy or whatever his name is. See, like, yeah, I can't, I can't put this guy in here, which sucks. Um, even if I were to like, I'd have to torch multiple of them for that to even work. Um, huh. I mean, now's a good time to give him this, probably. I mean, my if I torched one of the... No, I'm going to wait until uh, the next turn to torch him. Because if I torch him, it increases the damage all of these guys have. I mean, not that it really matters at this point. It would have just been extra damage, I guess. See, I'll just torch one here. Oh, I don't have torch anymore. Duh. Huh. I wonder how this is going to turn out. Can't really do anything down here. Let's see. Am I going to win this? Yeah, I are. I'm going to win this. Oh, I can use Impolite too. You can see why this guy isn't the best against damage shield, because he hits four times, five times. But life steal, no problem. Because I just heal after each turn, basically. Alright, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't a major boss fight either, but let's see what we got. Oh, cool. I haven't played these guys yet. I unlocked the Melting Remnant. Recruit the melting remains of the Waxen Arches. Melting souls and greedy thugs band together to reclaim hell. They're weird. Maybe I'll try them after this. Ooh. Gonna take Ember Cash. Ooh. Ooh, this is actually a tough choice because I do want more rage, but I have to remember the boss can clear my rage. Uh, Pyre Chomper is going to be better because I can get um, a bunch of uh, Ember if I'm if I'm if I have Ember Drain going on, and it'll also help Impolite too. The Umbra Rage cards, I think, are what I want more than the um, than the Hellhorns Rage cards. Heaven's Gift. Reduce cost to zero. Add a, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, that's actually... That's not bad. Card draw might be a little bit of an issue with that. But. All right, let's see. We can discard and dupe and get a cave, or we can heal, get gold, and do spell buffs. Um, ma, ma, ma. Kinda wanna buff spells. If I were to duplicate a card, what would I duplicate? Yeah. 
Can I discard dead weight? No. I think I should probably go here and buff buff my spells. Uh, holdover. What can I put holdover on? Holdover and capacity could be really good. Um, holdover and this shade splitter card could be really good. Holdover basically makes it so that when I cast a spell, if I cast it during a turn, it goes back onto the top of my deck for next turn. So as long as I keep casting it, I'll always have it. A mortal trade could also be extremely good. Um, because it costs zero. I mean, it it would make me stack. Uh, it would make me stack Ember Drain a lot. But I'd be able to always have. I'd be able to keep stacking Life Steal on my main dude. Um, I think that's probably better than like being able to extend. Impolate's another one. I could reduce the cost of Impolate too. So I, I could have a zero cost 60 damage spell that I can cast every turn. Um, I don't know. Immortal Trade feels better to me. I can make Impolate cost zero anyways. I mean, with Life Steal on my main dude. Yeah. I think if I set it up right, it would work really well. Uh, especially if I do, like, uh, I'll probably make one of these... I'll make some other stuff zero cost, or at least I'll try to. Healing with morsels? I mean, ki kind of. I'm not, I'm, I'm going full trample with my dude though. Because he does a lot of damage. Like, 60 damage, my, my Penumbra dude can do that anyways. You know. Um, getting rid of stuff in the back each turn is good, though. What do you mean getting rid of stuff in the back? Yeah, I mean, with Trample, though, I can, I can go through a lot of guys. It's a tough choice. I I personally think life steal is the better choice. Um, but I also don't have multi multi hit on my penumbra. Uh, I, although there's a card that can give it to him. Um, so three life steal. Shit. Yeah. Fuck it. I do want to make um, this zero cost though. Uh, probably not super worth it to do this, but let's do it anyways. All right. I like I, if I get the chance to do another holdover on a card, I'll do it. Um. Yeah, for this fight, actually, too, do, go, doing the, the impolate was a smart choice. Because of these fucking statues. I hate these things. Oh.
Yeah, now everything that shows up is going to just get fucking wiped out. Um, alright. Let's see. Now I could put the Alpha Fiend down on the bottom. It take fire damage though. Um I'll do that for now. What's up, Kane? Yeah, it affects the the. It's still armor, still protects it. All right, I really need. Let's see, I could do this to kill them and then torch it later. I could just use Impolite on the guy. Yeah, I'll use it because then it'll start triggering the holdover. Just do that to kill that one guy. Fuck you. No, the statues are rooted. The thing is, is that um, they... They can get buffed by other units that come in uh, to give them rage, or they can spawn. There are some times when you do this event where they spawn with damage shields. You got a little by you? I no, little doesn't exist near me. I'm pretty sure. Um. These guys will counter that, um, that, uh, Ember Drain too, which is nice.
be really nice to get something on the bottom floor. But whatever I put on the bottom floor is just gonna get totally fucked up. would be nice. Bottom floor not necessary. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it would be nice because, I mean, there's there's going to be waves later on, I'm sure, where if I don't clear the bottom floor or at least do something on it, then they're going to get heavily buffed. But, I mean, for now, I should be fine. And also, just having stuff on the bottom floor to do damage to the boss. Since you can't play stuff during the, um... You know, the, the phase, whatever it's fucking called. Alright. Let's get rid of these. Let's do this. Oh, wait, does it add... Oh, that was weird. Um... See. I mean, I still want to use the impolite. Just use it down here. Yeah, these two guys together are fucking great. Here we go. Yeah, see, I, like, I either play something here. Yeah, I, there's really not a whole lot I can do down here. How much damage does he do? 20 per hit. Fuck. So what I think I'm going to do... Do that. Kill these guys. Um, I mean, I want to play this because of holdover, but... I, I don't know. He still has a lot of... He has a lot of health. It's really going to be dependent on what cards I get. This draw. Because I'm... That's half of his HP. Uh, so I can definitely do the Immortal Trade. Yeah, I mean, the Fiend is... Yeah, maybe I should do the Fiend, too. If I extend the floor and put the feed Fiend down... Thing is, is do I want... I'm going to have Ember Drain, so I probably want the energy more than the damage. Wow. It's 
885 damage. I mean, I'll win. I, I might take damage. The lifesteal was kind of wasted by having the armor, to be totally honest. Alright, um, I mean, I have 13 stacks. Oh yeah, we're fine. just add insult to injury. Why not? Started li stacking lifesteal too late. Well, the thing is, is lifesteal tr still triggers. It still goes down even if it doesn't heal you. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, not even gonna lose health. I love this guy. Alright, cool. Alright, reinforce double armor on a unit. Dark deal, deal 5 damage, apply 7 rage. I like that. Or... Consume, apply 25 armor. Um, yeah, alloy does seem good. I mean, dark deal though, with, with the fact that I have li so much life steal, dark deal would be an easy way to stack um, rage on my penumbra. And it's zero cost, yeah. And I could potentially get double stack on it. Um, I, I don't know. Do I really need more capacity at this point? My setup right now is kind of perfect. Card draw could be good. Yeah. I, I very rarely get card draw. Sure. Draw. Drawer. Um, okay, we can upgrade spells or units. We can ditch cards or get gold. I don't have a ton of gold. Um... I don't need healing and really don't need the gold, although I could ditch cards, so this is probably a better idea. Um, I might just ditch... Uh... I don't know if I want to ditch both of my torches. And I don't want to ditch any imps. I could ditch one of these shittier shade splitters. Because this one will duplicate now. Having one of these torches is nice in case I need to kill an imp to make room. How often do I use the spike? I'm keeping the spike. The spike's fine. It consumes too. Um, ditch one of these. I mean, I don't need to get rid of a card, but let's just ditch the one for now. Um, don't really have enough gold to be doing rerolls. Well, maybe. I could re-roll and hope these two get better. Um, could do minus one cost to my other morsel. Zero cost extension. Zero cost shade splitter. Or I could re-roll. 
Do I have? I don't think I have anything that's worth permafrosting. I mean, a mortal trade maybe, but. Fifty will keep me from affording the good stuff. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I could. Uh, Permafrost lets you hold the card until you want to play it. You don't discard it. Um, there are a few things that could be good for Permafrost. I think I'll do it on Immortal Trade because this is this is kind of a lifesaver card. Assuming that my my carrot my penumbra isn't gonna die on the first attack. Save for the last shop? Yeah, I could do that too. I really don't need to upgrade anything. Yeah, maybe I should just save money. That's a good idea. There is one more shop, right? Well, there's probably gonna be one or two. Holdover is bet would be better on Anyways. If I get permafrost, you will have a card less on the deck. What do you... I don't know what that means. What do you mean? Oh, you mean my draws will be better. I get it. Um, we could get... Uh, um, these kind of suck. I usually use these to, like, get rid of my, um, if I get this early enough, I use these to get rid of my, um, immortal, uh, my train servants or whatever they're called. Basically, it's a huge, it's not even that huge of a buff. Um, it's a buff, but it also removes a card. I mean, I could put it on torch, but I don't really want to lose another one. Yo, what's up, Count? Yeah, it is good. I do like this um, uh, game so far. Yeah, it's a one. I'm gonna leave it. I, I don't. I don't have anything worth using it on. And I don't think I really have another card I really want to get rid of right now. I just unlocked the melting this run. Add buff to fiend. No, then my he'd go away. Think I should remove the two damage. Um, yeah, maybe. I haven't used them yet. I I literally in the middle of this run I unlocked them. Um. All right, here we go. Big, super big lad. Massive. Thank God I got the fucking jacks. Look at that. It gives me the cards I want right at the very beginning. I love it. What a nice game. I mean, I could put the Fiend at the bottom this time. He'll probably die, but that's fine. Um, let's get the energy for next turn. I mean, might as well start stacking Rage now. What's this dude doing, champ? You're gonna take a lot of damage, buddy. I should aim for the 400. What? 400 what?
All right. Um, let's put out the warden. Oh, this is... Oh, they're getting multi-strike from this guy. Um, I mean, I can prevent him from dying a couple of different ways. Um... for now I guess this guy's fucking dead I don't even know I'm I'm not gonna waste too many cards or mana trying to uh, save him I'll see what he can do though which imp gives rage the one that I don't fucking have the normal looking one I guess hmm. yeah this guy's fucking dead Deals five damage to the front enemy unit. Yeah, he's he's gone. Thanks for the help, buddy. Let's just focus on our our main guy. Oh fuck, I need my other capacity card for that, huh? Um it's not it's actually not that much like Slay the Spire. It's pretty different. Um I like it both. This, this game's unique enough to be judged on its own merits. I do kind of... One of my, the biggest things I wish existed, maybe it does later in the game, I'm not really sure, um, is that I very much wish that there was a way to pick only one um, clan. You know, you pick a primary clan and an allied clan, if you could pick the same clan for both and then it had like a few extra units or like special cards for a singular clan, that would be a, a very cool feature, but I don't think that's in the game. Um, okay. Let's see, we can save damage here for sure. A few different ways. First off, let's make this bigger. Let's put this guy down. And then cannibalize him. Yeah, nothing that great. Play over cash. Um, health would be a smart thing to focus on. Uh, kind of a waste of impolate, but it'll save me from taking like 10 damage if I do this. Does League have a card game? League of Legends? Yeah, I gotta always I gotta remember to always use Impolate for the heart holdover.
been nice to get. Well, doesn't really matter. Gwent, I think, is boring. I, I never really enjoyed Gwent, Gwent in Witcher 3. Maybe something's wrong with me, but... Alright. Um, use Impolate on this guy right here. By the way, I, did, I had a deck before where I got the Impsicle, which is a uh, uh, fucking a trinket that gives you an, a new imp at the start of each turn and I got impolate during it and at one point I had an impolate that would do like 260 damage it was sweet yeah, let's do that um, we can get energy Ooh, hello eight rage and eight armor you say or six and the chance at a and plus 10. Let's see, which would actually be better. So if each one of these is two damage, it would be plus 16 damage over time, obviously, um, versus plus 12 damage. Whereas if I spent this, it would give me plus 10 plus, okay, yeah. This, this is smart. I mean, this guy has 11 fucking damage shields up here. The trinket that makes rage not disappear would also be nice to have. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Look, we can even do some damage shield. Can kill this guy too. Look, only 36 damage. Wow, this run's going really well. I I don't want to say I might win this round or this uh, this run because I've not been able to successfully clear rank three yet, but I think I might be okay on this one. Yeah, famous last words. My first like two or three runs with Umbra, I did not understand. I mean, I got the mechanics, but I just... I was also not using the trample version of the main hero. I think that's one of my big criticisms of the game is that depending on which covenant you pick, some of the the um, champion cards are very fragile. And since you only start with the champion and the stewards and maybe you get lucky and get some other units in the initial card draw, um, like I really don't like the Stygian clan, I they're strong because of their direct damage spells and shit like that, and the, their like sacrifice mechanics and frostbite. But the champion is just like the early game is fucking frustrating. This is what I want. Uh, I want void binding. Perfect. Um, I mean, I could get feast too. Void binding is really kind of better though. Especially if I'm able to get double stack on it before the final boss. Although with Feast, I can like... Continuously like feed and keep casting morsels. This, that's a tough choice because I've won with Void Binding and double stack. Um, let's try Feast. Why not? Um... Okay. I kind of want the Rage Serum more than the imp Impressive. What is the boss? Seraph the Chaste? I mean, I have plenty of imps. So impressive wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I could just skip. I mean, if I was going to skip, I'd take 
rage serum because it's consumed anyways. All right, I'll skip. Fine. Honestly, I mean, getting too many cards in this is kind of hard, at least from my experience. But I mean, I'm still pretty early in the game, so. All right, so upgrade units or spells. Uh, I think we want to go with. What could I duplicate? I could duplicate Impolite, and then I could have 120 damage each turn. There's gold over here. I mean, I should be able to afford any trinket with 275, I think. Drawing two cards less, though, I mean, yeah, but 120 damage. Each you know, on the front each turn without costing any mana is kind of a, a fine trade off for a little bit less card draw. I mean, that's really the only thing I see that's worth duplicating, I think. With the way things have been going. See, the thing, though, is, yeah, what if I get to the Merchant of Trinkets and there's something... like... really worth getting and I don't have enough um, HP for it. I mean, the only th and uh, car like creature I'd upgrade is, I mean, I could upgrade the Morsel Master and stuff. Cards are almost done. Um, you guys think money in the trinket? I could remove one of those uh, um, flare things, too. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. The pyre stuff would be wasted, too. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it was worth it. Um, friendly units enter with armor 5, gain 7 energy for the first turn of battle. X cards get plus 3 to their X value when played. Um... I should re-roll. I'd rather re-roll. Ooh. Rage does not decay. Summon abilities trigger an extra time. Grant four stacks of armor. Um, I'm probably going to get Rage does not decay. Let me think. What, what cards do I have that ha actually have summon abilities? Just my imps, right? Yeah. What's Seraph's thing? He removes my buffs. Well, not all of them. He removes them half at a time. Also, Morsel Maker? That's not a summon ability. That's a um, resolve. So it wouldn't trigger twice. The only things like my welder, I'd get double armor, double energy, and double damage. I'd, I'd rather... Um, I'm getting this for sure. Uh, let's see. We can ditch some cards. Let's ditch this. Um, let's see. Upgrade a unit with endless. Yes, please. So I, if I gave the alpha fiend endless. Okay, so there are a few choices. I could give the Alpha Fiend Endless, and I could just keep replaying him on the bottom floor. Um, I could get Endless... He won't have the same... I'm pretty sure his damage will be reset. Uh, endless Amp will also take up a card draw.
damage does not reset. Are you sure about that? Yo, peace out, Com. Thanks for watching. Um, I mean, I only get to pick one thing here, pretty much. I mean, endless. <laughs> yeah, two costs on an endless isn't good. I mean, I could do it on the Pyre Chomper, and then I just always have energy even when I'm burned. Spam Marshall Master on the bottom floor. I figure it would reset the damage because it's it's replaying a new unit. It's not like bringing back the same unit. I mean, it has the same card upgrades, but it doesn't retain buffs that it got during the uh, thing. Um, upgrade a unit with seven rage. Yeah, I won't have enough for that though. I think endless free energy is a much better idea, especially since now that I have more stuff that's going to I'm, I'm going to be pushing harder on my ember drain. You might be thinking of melting. I can remove one more card. I don't really think I want to, though. Infinite imps means super impolite. I don't think so. It's based on the number you have in your deck. Unless it was being duplicated like the uh, impsicle, I don't think it's going to add anymore. I, I don't really think I need to get rid of any cards. If anything, maybe I could get rid of like fortify or this two cost morsel, but I don't really want to get rid of that. What is this king? Oh, that looks tasty. What is that? Orange chicken? Don't send me food pictures. I'm hungry right now. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to duplicate uh, or remove anymore. This is the final fight, though. So maybe I should remove something I'm not going to use. Like, do I... Uh, I don't want to remove any imps, because then that co the cost will go down. Yeah, Fortify is probably fine to remove. I don't see it really saving me at any point. Seraph will remove half of any debuff uh, buff and debuff effect stacks. Okay. Here we go. I don't think I have a feeling I'm going to lose despite this being a pretty good setup. I don't think I'm going to be able to deal enough damage to the boss. All right. Um, but we'll see. Just stack faster than he can remove the buff. Good idea. Morsel Master. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to always have Impolite now, which is nice. I need to expand before I can um, do that, but. I could. Mm. Not really any reason to give him life steal now. Yo, thanks for the gift sub, Kane. God damn. I 
I would have preferred you sent me some food. Yeah, Ember Drain isn't worth it this early. Where's my homie at? I could buff this guy right now. Not really any reason to. Why not use one of those gift food things for chat? I don't know what you mean, gift food things. Is that a thing? This sucks. 30 damage. Um, chat can order you food? Oh, no, please. Um, I, I don't need chat to order me food. Um, I could cannibalize this guy and get more morsels. But um, I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, I could use it to buff the top guy. Probably it wouldn't hurt, realistically. I don't like all the damage I'm taking here, though. I hope I get lifesteal or something. Alright. Mm, nice dead weight. Bad time to get feasts too because I, I don't have any really much, I, I don't have a bunch of uh, excess um, uh, shit. Does one of these guys have a sweep? Oh yeah, he does. Not anymore. I'm taking a lot of damage. Feast mid and put the welder. Um, actually, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. And then I can just sacrifice him later. Well, see, here's the problem with that. You want me to put him in front? Oh, just to eat the hit? Oh, yeah, I guess that works. Where's my warden? Where's Chad Warden at? This guy's sad. Alright, here we go. Thank you. I still haven't gotten uh, my any expansion. I don't really need to play this guy. 
But if I don't, I won't get him next turn. Not that I really need him next turn, but... my damage shields, huh? Alright, so... Let's see, how are we gonna do this? We'll do that. Need to extend here. Could avoid all damage here. Oh yeah, those guys are going to die because of sweep, huh? Whatever. Um... Fuck, I forgot about sweep. Sweep fucks with the morsels for sure. It's too bad I don't have the trinket that gives them damage shield when you play them. How's your favorite se uh, you mean Pookie 3? Wow, he took away my lifesteal, huh? Yeah, so now we have the issue of I can't play my one cost cards because of, um, you know, bullshit. Use dark deal to kill units in the back. Yeah, uh, that would work. It's true. Well, at least I can get some life steal back. I can take a little less damage if I nuke one of these guys. Um, I think I need to impolate this guy, though. Still... Struggling with buffing my dude. God, I wish I could have played this. Fuck. It's fine. I mean, I'm doing way better than a lot of the times I've done this fight, so. There he goes, taking away my lifesteal and uh, rage stacks. Do I have an expand? No, but I can draw a card. Uh, okay. Hmm. Hold on, I'm thinking. I'm getting a lot of these. I'm not getting the best morsels.
I don't want my lifesteal morsels to... They're gonna die to this guy. Because he has sweep. Probably should have used that up here. Now that I think about it. I should have done that first and then been able to do the uh, the, the feed because anything I put down here is going to die. It's too bad I don't have one of those tomes that lets me do um, the fast, the quickness or whatever it's called. I can put this here and he'll, he'll get killed by the sweep anyways. Oh, we took damage for the first time. Well, no, not the first time. Right? Didn't we take damage earlier? I forgot. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I didn't really have time to be stacking. Here we go with the fucking no energy again. Oh, at least I have that. I'm gonna win this. Oh, fucking god damn it. I should have. Mm. I messed that up. I forgot that that um, that card was gonna give me two energy and I was gonna be able to play this. Whatever, I can play it and then I'll have the, the, the minor in my. Um, in my. Uh, discard. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to win this. I'm my my dude's not very buffed. I didn't get to expand the middle till till pretty late and those those dudes with the fucking ooh, life steal, nice. Um Let's see what we can do. I mean, that's what plus 20 plus 20 I'll take the ember drain uh, it'll probably yeah that does I, I think I'll be fine these guys are gonna do some damage to the uh to the core, but I think I'll be okay. Alright, 
Eat all of those. Hell yeah. See what we can do on this last one. All right, impolite for sure. Let's expand the floor. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll be a. Mm. It's gonna be really close. But he's gonna get damage shields no matter what he eats, so. Yeah. 334. And then, so that'll leave him with what? Like under, I, th oh, it's gonna be super close. I think it was better to poke Morsel in front. He'd kill, I'd have to put like, yeah. I mean, I can't move the ones that this dude summons, so. Let's see, how much, if he has, if he does 30 damage, that means he'll have four, so I'm gonna do, I think 120 damage to him. 120, uh, that's four. I don't think I'm going to win. I could scum it. You can save scum in this pretty easily. I don't think I won. I think I lost. I think this is it. Oh no! Whoops. Oh, hey, look at that. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. I'm definitely capable of beating him with this deck, so. Yeah, weird bug, huh? I mean, the, it's like Slay the Spire, the card draw is still the same. So I just, there's some stuff I have to do differently. I only need to do, yeah, it's like barely any damage. I'm gonna Ember Drain early, because I had an abundance of energy before. We'll try. He removes half the stacks anyways, but... This guy was giving me a ton. Um, now remember, we were having a lot of problems with the sweep guy. But I don't think I have much of a way to counter that early. And I mean, so here's the thing, if I remove this 
if I use Impolate, if I use Impolate whenever I can hit the damn boss through the enemies like this, maybe that will be enough. Um, let's see. And I just have to be smart about which, um, which imps I play or which, uh, morsels I play when. I'm not going to play Cannibal Eyes right now. The biggest problem, I think, is the fact that I I wasn't getting um, my my uh, extension, my size increase early enough. I think overall that's the biggest problem with the way this setup is right now. Maybe if I don't play my Pyre Chomper. Remember, I played this guy and put him down here. Um. There was no reason to do that. That was a mistake. Epic. <laughs> that is a fuck up. Yep. Thank you for noticing. I mean, I could put the... See, the warden didn't come until really late either. Um, fuck it. We'll use feast since these guys are going to get sweeped. Play both up top. I can't. Expand top. I mean, it'll do extra damage, right? And this guy will eat. I mean, he's going to die anyways, probably. There's not going to be room to put the, the Warden down, is the problem. Unless I can probably use Sacrifice on him. Let's see how we can do this. Yeah, look, there he, there, there's the Warden. Secure top and I will win. Yeah. Maybe. Could put the warden on the bottom floor. He'd die first turn though. Fuck it. Try something different. Yeah, the damage shield is what scale, but he was still getting his damage shield stacks removed. We'll see what happens. Here we go. See, this extension comes at a bad time, though, because of this motherfucker.
Um, Yeah, this kind of puts me in a little bit of a shitty situation. I might have to actually try this again. This, I feel like, is a worse situation than last time. Too bad I don't have that fucking energy imp right now. So... Killed one guy here. I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Probably not even worth it because of that. These sweep, these sweep guys are fucking really frustrating. So I have to buff this turn with, with my dudes because I won't have another chance because the next turn is going to be sweep again. So let's do um, this. to fix the lack of energy. I mean, I can just put energy up here. Oh, he's gonna die. I put him in the wrong place. Um, let's see. You know, I, I, I see where some of my major mistakes lie. I think I do want to put lifesteal on him right now. Okay, so if I do this now, the sweep dude will be dead and I can just focus on buffing. That's what I should have been doing from the very fucking beginning. So I'm probably gonna try this one more time. Because it's definitely doable. I just have been, there are a couple of things I was doing wrong.
Okay. Did I have dead weight at this point last time? My card draw is a little bit different because I, I didn't play certain things. See, like the four energy thing doesn't help me right now. Um, life steal helps me more than damage shield does. Yeah, look like that. I think we got this. Yep. Sweet. I mean, I did save scum. I, I knew this deck was strong enough to do it, but... I, I fucked up a few. I, that the sweep enemies really fucked me up last time, because last time there were like three times where all of my morsels just got wiped out, and I didn't get the buffs from them. But yeah, one of the things, uh, like I was kind of saying, is it would be nice during these phases if there was at least some way. You could maybe play spells. I mean, I get why you can't, but... Yeah, having less cards would have probably helped there. Honestly, having that, um... I never got the card that gives double strike, uh, or multi-strike, which would have been really nice. Too many it wasn't the morsels that caused the problem. It was it was the imps, honestly. There we go, covenant rank four. Minor bosses now have increased attack. Great. Uh went mastered these cards. Hell yeah. Umbra level up. Alloyed construct. Inert multi-strike one. Gorge. Gain fuel one. Inert. This unit cannot attack unless it has fuel. Interesting. That's new. Seems like a pretty good unit, though. It's small. It has a lot of health and does a lot of damage. Kindle. Consume. Gain 2x energy. Okay. Hellhorn level up. Imp in a box. Add two random imp units to your hand. Resonant shard. Rage adds an additional one damage per stack. That's nice. He can't place it an attack. Yeah, but I mean, he's he's on par with some units that either take up way more space or cost way more mana. So I can see the benefit if you have the right units to go with him. Um, all right, I'm gonna. Um, I'm going to do a new run. Um, maybe on a lower rank. I, I don't know if I want to try these guys for the first time and fucking 
on rank four, which I just unlocked. Um, I, I do need to uh, go grab something really quick, so hold on one second. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, so can can you can someone explain? Look at this fucking. She looks like she's made out of cake. Can someone explain the melting remnants mechanics in a way that I can understand? And potentially, if you have experience, what clan goes well with them? And please don't say Stygian. So far, I really like all the clans except for Stygian. Umbra took me a while to understand. I didn't like it at first, but um, I know Stygian can be really strong. I just, it's also like feels very glass cannony. And it feels more dependent on like cards and uh, things like that. All about resurrecting dead units to come back stronger. Key with Remnant is to not let things stay dead. Um, I mean, I can try melting and uh, Umbra. I feel like I want to turn the difficulty down a little bit, though. Like, maybe do rank 2 instead of rank 4. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? Considering I don't have any shit unlocked for them either. I might as well see what rank four is like anyways. So rip my... Uh Wind streak, probably. More than any other clan, though, it's important with some of their later unlocks to pay attention to what type of unit card something is. Oh, okay. I mean, your wind streak can get you. There's achievements, I think. I didn't. I didn't save scum. The game glitched out. Oh, so I got some units. That's nice. Draft. Burnout one, multi-strike one. Burnout. Counts down every turn. When burnout runs out, the unit dies. Okay. Burnout one. So this dude only lives for a turn? Engulfed in smoke. Apply stealth. Oh, I was wondering which, uh, who was going to get stealth. Um, Seraph the Temperament. Uh, this incarnation of Hell's Greatest Foe will temper the strength of your units, only the truly determined. Friendly units enter with- oh, I hate the fucking sap shit. Okay. 
So the thing is, is with most with units in this game is if they die, you don't get the card back. So I'm assuming they're they have some cards that like bring back specific and like types or whatever. 67 Amber Drain. Nice. Let's see what our artifact is. Merchant costs reduce by 25% or enemies get minus one attack. Both of these are... Eh, the merchant cost one's probably the best. Yeah, I don't even know what the champion does yet. Let's get this. Burnout 3. Um... 60, 60. Harvest plus 5. Health. Huh. Uh, hmm. I mean, I kind of feel like I should get the one... This guy. Burnout 3, though. This guy's gonna get wrecked by early game shit, though. Um, but I have to sustain him. Do I have cards that's... Oh, wait. Dregs. I have dregs. I have drafts. And I have... So I don't have cards that actually increase burnout or bring any of these dudes back. Uh, fuck it. True, um... Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like I have to use him as a tank up front. Triggers when a unit on this floor dies. Uh, does does consuming morsels count as car as units dying? Yes. I guess I should get this then, and I'll just be super tanky. Let's see how it goes. See, like, I'm not even going to be able to kill the first fucking unit. Which I guess is pretty normal, but... These guys are small, too, which is nice. So he's going to burn out before the end of the turn, or uh, before things get consumed. Oh. Yeah. Still not going to kill this dude, but whatever. Okay, this is a, yeah, I, I, I see how they work. I'm interested to see what, oh, never mind, it did apply to him. Yeah, weird. So is this Splay, Splay the Splier, but you're the baddies? Not really. It's actually more like, um, in some ways it's closer to Hearthstone, and in some ways kind of Darkest Dungeon-y, I guess, with the positioning shit. It's it's very... The, the closest things about it 
to slay the spire or that you have like champion unit and that you have like trinkets and it's a card game and it's roguelike ish i guess it's very different it's different enough to be you know significant if i could only play one card game for the you mean like a computer card game or do you mean like real card game Should have played this instead of the other guy, but it's fine. I don't know. I slay the spire probably would be one of my top picks. I don't know. Magic. The, there's some good magic. The gathering. Um, uh, there's some good magic. The gathering games. I wonder if I could get away with this. Yeah, that works. Sweet. Not the most ideal solution, but maybe when we get some more units and some more cards, this will work a little better. I, I definitely like that the mechanics for all the different champions in the different classes feel different. All right, entombed explosive, extinguish, deal 35 damage um, to the front enemy unit. Okay. Descend a unit, another draft. I kind of feel like this this deck maybe in some ways relies on unless you get things that return burned out units that it relies on like you can have a pretty big deck with these guys. Um, suggestions. Entombed explosion explosive doesn't seem bad for putting on the floor with my champion. Because he'll die and he'll, um, you know, do damage and get healed. Or another one of these multi-hit dudes. Realistically, though, this guy is doing more damage. All right. Um, packed morsels consume plus one space. He'll be eating morsels. Maybe. If he gets hit first, he won't. Packed morsels is good. Okay. Um, gold and spell upgrades or Umbran unit and unit upgrades. What spells do I have right now? I could do, um, if I went spell upgrades, I could get, reduce the cost of these, but if I went unit upgrades and another Umbran unit maybe is a better idea, especially if I can get something like the Warden. Uh, 
upgrade a unit with Endless. So, <laughs> say I were to give one of these guys Endless, I'd keep getting him back, right? Even after they burn out? I mean, I could give one of these guys Endless and plus 5, plus 10. That would mean they'd do 30, 30 damage, and they could also uh, potentially go longer. Yeah, the tomb would be a good choice, too. Let's just try this. I, I'm still learning this this group. Um Might be nice to have this guy come out with dam damage shield. I mean, I'm going to be putting him on the top floor though, so maybe not. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to put damage shield on anyone. Maybe I can just remove a uh, train warden, train steward instead. Was the terrible Star Wars DOS game my doing? No, someone else sent it. Alright, let's see how we do. Against these fellas. Oh yeah, not having fucking what's it called? Um, trample is gonna suck. Just wanted that money. I don't know if it was worth it to lose that. To put that unit out so early. Life steal or damage shield? Let's give him damage shield. It's gonna get eaten by him, I think. I'll be okay. I'm. My hero's probably gonna die. I mean, he's definitely gonna die, but. Oh, 
Oh, they're gonna skip ahead of four anyways, so these guys were pointless. Yeah, I'm fine. I can do this anyways. Yeah, these uh, candle fellas are interesting. Let's see what cards we get. Molded. Reform a unit. Return a defeated friendly unit to your hand. Enhance with burnout one. Plus five, plus five, and zero. Okay. Yeah, I, I probably want that. Um, let's see. Let's do another packed morsels. I feel like that's a card that should like come when you start with this class, but maybe not, I, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's go with Remnant Unit and Spell Upgrades, I think. Lady of the Reformed, Burnout 3, um, Revenge, Triggers when Damaged. Uh, ooh, that's a nice tank. Friendly Burnout Units gain Burnout 1. That's only on one floor, though. Um, ah! Ignore that. Um... This dude, Wickless Baron, he basically has the same thing that my main dude has. I'm guessing Lady of the Reformed. Yeah, maybe she could be like bottom floor. She still has three burnout though. Um, we'll figure it out. She's the best chump blocker. Let's see that. Um, what spells do I even have? Um, fr freezing. I could freeze molded. So that I, if I draw it, I can just choose when I want to use it. <laughs> I can make it cost zero also. I'm trying to think, would freezing it be worth it? Yeah, because then I, I wouldn't have to worry about as much about counting burnout. I mean, what would be better is, is holdover. You want to use it every round if you can. That's the thing is that maybe I should just make it cost zero and then hope I get holdover later <laughs> and maybe remove a train steward <laughs> anything worth doing I don't even have anything that works on oh. all right let's see uh half the blacksmith hulls near the train oh this uh I'm gonna skip this I tried doing the rail strikes thing once. These cards both kind of stuck because they they just start stacking up in your deck. Your deck. Your deck. Um, they, they basically are self-replicating cards and they will fill your deck up fast. So that was a waste. All right, first boss. Uh, constructed explosives enter with damage shield. Okay, that's kind of better than the having them... Especially since I don't even have, like, um, flame spell or whatever. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna go ahead and go on that first floor right now. You can wait until you've got two solid stones on the spider before playing it for the first time. You wind up with huge free spider army. Yeah, that's true. True. I got warden my first turn. Yeah, that's true too. 
Um, I kind of want to give all of these to him right now. I don't know if I want to play this right now. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, this is not a good situation. Already, this is a very bad situation. I mean, I can put her on the bottom. I mean, I can either block this damage with a morsel or I can apply stealth to him. I'm assuming... Doesn't it hit the whole floor? No. It hits the front unit. Stealth won't work, it's not an attack. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, I'm having... My main issue so far with what I got going on is, is the amount of damage that I can deal is... Oh, oh, not very good right now. So pretty much, I mean, I feel like I'm going to be wanting to reform her as much as possible if I get the card, too. Oh, this is not good. Yeah. This guy in here. Let's see what more stuff we got. I mean, I'm going to take damage. Reform makes units stronger each time. You kind of want to choose between dying and reviving and lasting longer. Oh, interesting. There's no reason for me to do that, but I'm doing it. Because I have a bunch of those, so... You know, with this guy having abilities that push, I understand why now they have some things that like push uh, enemies up and down. Because if you can keep pushing units back down to kill them, that sucks. But it's not that much damage. Oh, you know, I didn't even realize she's increasing her own burnout too. Reform a unit, eight available. Should I use this? What do you mean eight available? 
Is it talking about these guys? There are eight of them here. Oh, that's not good. If, if molded, I thought it was only going to be able to bring back things that died from burnout. Oh, it's any unit. So I, uh, that's, that's, that's rough. Oh, you can choose. Oh, you get to pick. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I mean, I could bring back this guy. No reason not to use it, right? It's not like it gets consumed. Um, there are random reform effects. See how that works. Okay, I see why the card is good. I see very much why the card is good now. That's an interesting mechanic for these guys. Um, I don't really need to stealth at all. Yeah, my <laughs> morsel's fucking, like, beefy now. Beef morsels. And then he gets eaten. Final wave. Here we go. Um, so 213 damage. Hmm. These aren't really buffs to him. So maybe I'll go for the... Oh wait, no. He's gonna get eaten by him. Alright, whatever. Probably could have waited to do that, but it's fine. I don't even have that many cards left. All right, let's see how this goes. It would have been nice to put. The thing is, his damage shield won't trigger that burnout upgrade thing. Still a lot of damage. And I get my endless dude back. Oh, the problem with having him be endless is unless I, um, I won't ever be able to reform this guy, right? I mean, I'm going to win anyways, but let's try some things. Oh, see, but she's going to take up all this space. I mean, it's not like it matters. We still win. Okay, that's good to know. So with uh, units like that, it's probably better to just base upgrade. Of, I mean, it was nice to have... It's nice to have an endless one just in case, but... Alright, Wax and Spike. Enhanced friendly units. 
with plus 3x damage, apply one burnout. Wretch, return consumed morsel units to your hand. Kindle, gain 2x energy. So this is basically just like free double your energy one turn during a fight. Enhance, so this is a whole floor. I could see Wax and Spike being useful for the first floor the way I set up the first floor the last time. Um, Kindle, Kindle I can see being good too, but I haven't run into too many energy issues yet. I'm gonna get, I mean, both of these together would be cool. You Kindle and then you use Wax and Spike. Yeah, I think I'll get the Wax and Spike for now. Um, Paraffin Thug. Slay, gain 20 gold. Interesting. This guy doesn't have uh, Burnout either. He has not a lot of life, but... Um, I could get a second Lady of the Reformed. Or I could get a Morsel Maker to put with my... Um, to put with my... Uh, uh, warden at the top. What do you guys think? I don't know if I need a second Lady of the Reformed. Paraffin Thug? I mean, the damage is nice. I don't... My damage is really low. That's been a problem. But he'll die to things like Sweep and some other shit. But having Morsel Maker will, like, guarantee that nothing gets past... Um, the shield at the top. Hmm. Morsel will make harvest OP. That's true. That is true. I could put the Morsel Maker... Uh, okay, now do I want energy, capacity, or draw? You really think draw? I need that reform. People are all about the draw. Oh, yeah. Draw me like one of your French girls. I only have the one card, that's true. Uh, alright. Well, I don't only have the one card, because I could duplicate it. So, I can reform my zero-cost molded. Or, I can duplicate my zero-cost molded. Ditch some cards and heal. Or I could get a unit, gold, and an artifact. Um, as much as I want an artifact right now, I think duplicating molded, based on how strong that card seems to be. And I can get rid of my last two train stewards too. Because I don't, don't need them. Combined with the morsels, I think that's going to be really strong. Hmm. All right, so resolve, reform a random unit. So I mean, I have I have the double reform though, or the molded. So, I mean, I think bar buffing Harvest even more is going to make this dude, like, unkillable.
Yeah, that's the thing is I it's just gonna keep giving me morsels instead of cards I actually want. And I, I don't wanna keep buffing morsels randomly. Let's see how we gonna do this. Ooh, that sucks. Not having direct attacks is kind of a pain. These guys are gonna go. I'm probably gonna take damage already. If every unit's coming in with haste, I probably should have put my dude up on the top floor. Okay, so we have Morsel Maker. Yeah, these there's no way. I'm just I just gonna have to take damage. Fuck. I really didn't think about haste coming into the equation. Maybe I should restart this fight. I think I'm going to restart this fight. I always forget about the fucking... A lot of those enchantments, like haste, or the one that gives enemies double multi-attack. So let's put this guy up here. We'll put Chad Warden in the middle. So if I put Morsel Maker down though, that's gonna prevent me from like putting anything else on this floor. Because he's gonna, I mean, it's gonna constantly buff. That's probably fine though, realistically. Fuck it, let's, we'll just try it. I'm still going to be taking damage. Alright, and then... Um, I got both molds out.
can't cast him right now but or I could I could put him up here oh no he'll have burnout it gives him burnout I forgot put the drag out to die good idea plus one energy could be helpful Yeah, I like the idea. See, I should have taken. See, here's the thing. I should have taken space or uh, capacity instead of card draw. I think. I mean, I I'll probably do that next boss if I get to it. But um, yeah, because I I can't put anything else here. And I mean, this guy's getting swole, but. Probably should have put him in front. Hmm. Not even really much of a reason for me to unpack these morsels right now. Put another drag out, I guess. But I, considering I, I don't have anything that can kill these stupid fucking dudes in the back. So the boss too is gonna most likely skip to the top floor. Yeah, just a lot of shitty damage. Um, this would be good down here. Because if I do it up here, it'll put burnout on both the Morsel Maker and Rector. We don't want that. I mean, not really much point to me putting this out here, but I don't, I don't really have a choice. There I go taking damage again. That sucks. Um, let's see. I can't. Could put three damage shield on her. I wish I need a card that like I can use to sacrifice my other cards, which I just don't have. So I, I definitely made some mistakes here. See, these guys are going to skip ahead anyways. There's really no point. Damage shield is the best bet, probably. Because I, I don't have room for any morsels. Oh, well, I beat him anyways. I took a lot of damage though, which kind of sucked because I had no way to counter the haste. Cool. Yeah, 35 damage taken. Um, Votaberry 
endless. Extinguish, draw one. Hmm. Memories of the melted consume, gain one energy for each friendly unit death this battle. That seems really good. A fatal melting. That'll, that basically is infinite energy. Um, deal damage to the enemy units, to enemy units equal to three times. Okay, yeah, that's way better. Never mind. Oh! <sighs> furnace tap's really good. I used furnace, but it has ember drain. Furnace tap is what I used on my uh, penumbra in a run before. I had double stack and reduced cost. So my Penumbra had like 200 damage, trample, and attacked three times in a row. And he just like melted shit. Uh, descend friendly and enemy units on this floor. Caven could be good, yeah. Caven could be really good. So could Furnace Tap. Furnace Tap on what's his name? My my uh, my main guy. Could be really strong. Hmm. Um, does the, the lady candle the that adds a burnout, does that will she apply it to like my champion guy? I'm guessing she does. But also I couldn't I technically bring my champion back with molded? Only if you give him burnout first. Oh, anything that adds a burnout counter already. I'm just thinking of ways I could play this. Caven could be really good. Furnace tap, though. I just uh, having multi strike on it. Oh, yeah. Reform gives burnout, too. Molded to get champ back is good, but risky. I mm, I think I'm going to take Furnace Tap. I'll probably see Cave In again or something. I don't know. All right, so we can get gold, a heal, upgrade units, or we can ditch cards, get trinkets. Um, 250 is enough for most of the trinkets. I mean, I could end up upgrading, like, my Lady of the Reformed and stuff like that. What do you guys think? Should I go for trinkets or go for units? Heal and trinket. I can't do heal and trinket. I can do trinket and remove cards. Let's see what there is. Let's try it. We can ditch a few things. I honestly feel like I should get rid of some of these dregs. Like maybe get rid of a dreg and a, and a shade splitter. Primal dust, you never use them. Yeah, maybe... Uh, well, they consume, so I don't worry too much about it. They're nice to have. Let's get rid of a Shade Splitter. Three dregs isn't a lot. Realistically. So yeah, let's get rid of one of these. Good card, but... 
Uh, Mind Jacks plus two capacity on the middle four. Pyre starts with 15 armor. Or at the start of the battle, summon a morsel miner on each floor. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I could re-roll and hope there aren't any of the super expensive ones. Or I could just go for the mind jacks. Mind jacks are good. Especially with the combo. I think I'll do mind jacks because... I was running out of room with the um, with the morsel mancer guy or whatever he is. This means I could put my hero in the middle and not have to worry about running out of space, right? I think so. Probably better than re-rolling. I don't know, I could re-roll and end up with something really fucking good, though. Now let's do it. Mind jacks. Yeah, Morsel Maker in the middle. Like Malcolm in the middle. What do we have here? Ember deposits. Collect around the openings, a byproduct of the pyre. These energy sources have gone dormant. Closer uh, uh, inspection, one mound of this rubble seems to have something more powerful protruding from it. While you could take the protrusion, removing some of the ember deposits and hauling them from the area would help to eventually revive them with some power, granting you something later on. Oh, these are where you get blights. Yeah, I'm good without adding more blights right now. We'll just leave that how it is. Alright. Let's see what the next fight is. Oh yeah, these motherfuckers. Uh, it's going to be smart anyways to put Rector in the middle because these dudes spawn with stealth. Um, I might put this draft out just so he can die. Um... And maybe the drag too, actually. Plus 46 health. Epic. Alright, um... I wish I had one of the things that made it, um... I know there's a trinket that roots the whole top floor. That would be nice to have in a situation like this. Yeah, my man. I could see morsel uh, or morsel. I mean, I think Umbra is a good combo. The thing is, is Umbra units. I mean, the morsels work really well for this guy. But I'm thinking about the utility of some spells. Like, I'm having a lot of trouble getting through entire lines of like low, low damage dudes, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Hmm. 
cool with that. So gonna have a little trouble with the uh, with these dudes, I think. But let's see, you're gonna die. I have no good way of handling this dude. Unless. Still not gonna kill him, but uh, at least he'll do less damage to my shit. Um, life steal on her would actually be kind of nice for one turn because she'll heal up a little bit. Yeah, I can't play anything else, so... Yeah, that sucks. Wow, Fatal Melting is just, like, fucking strong as shit, huh? I'm interested to see actually he's he is getting eaten right the burnout doesn't trigger before yeah okay eating happens before burnout does oh we're only gonna do 30 damage huh I think not uh, let's do that Twenty five. I were to put this guy in front. Let's get this guy in front.
116. One twenty five. Hmm. I mean, I think I'll be fine. All this health is gonna help a lot. Okay, not perfect, 480. So the thing is though, is we can do, furnace tap, wax spike. Oh wait, oh wait. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. I didn't realize that, um, I kind of misunderstood. I thought the, uh, the burning, the burn down, now I have to do all this shit again. I mean, at least I know what to do, but, um, yeah, I don't care about scumming. With burnout, when you're in the rally fight, where you're just going back and forth with the boss, that's what's weird to me, is some stuff ticks down and other stuff doesn't. Like, if there's an enemy that heals, it won't heal every turn of the, the rally. But if you have, like, um, something like, uh, what's it called? Um, regen? Like, regen ticks every time. So I thought, I didn't think burnout was going to tick down every time with the the uh, boss, but I guess that makes sense. What did I do last time? I put this guy out to die. Mistakes were made. Now I know. You live, you learn. I do like this clan, though. So, really, so far, it's too bad I, I, that this is all of them. I mean, it is a lot to choose from from the very beginning, but um, so far, really, the only clan I don't like is Stygian. Yeah, like more soul make, uh, uh, yeah, on the boss stuff. That's the thing. I guess it's a balance thing, but like some cards and like builds, like if you do like Awoken and you focus around card draw, like the boss rallies are fucking pointless because it just fills up your hand and you can't even fill your hand all the way up because, um, and then your, your draw on the next turn is pretty much worthless. Put you out here. Um, cause I like, I like Awoken a lot. I actually like the Awoken. I like doing like spike builds with their really tanky units. But that's the thing is that like, unless you get very specific things, like, you have to make sure you're, stack, you're stacking your spike way in advance because even if your hand is full of cards that'll give you spike, you can't, like, add more, you know? Alright, um... Why did I do this last time? I do that.
Oh, he ate those. Oops. Wait, did it did those buffs stay on him? Wait a minute. Did his endless buff the the buffs he got from the morsels stayed on him even though endless? Maybe because he didn't die. It's still the same unit. Okay. Because last time when we were playing, people were like, Endless is resets it. If it was a buff stack, it would reset. So, like, things like rage and shit like that. That makes sense. This guy get a deck. I could put, um, like one of these in front of him so he can at least do his damage. Yep. Okay. It's good to know, though, for this guy. Still gonna take damage, though. Why is he only taking minus six? Oh, gains armor when something dies? But why would he still only take minus... Oh, because he'd be getting more armor from each of the things. Never mind. Um, she's going to burn out. I guess because of the timing of when I placed her. So I'm going to use Wax and Spike here. Even though it's not a big buff, it'll keep her from uh, dying, yeah. And that way I don't accidentally Wax Spike my main dude again. <laughs> Which was a stroke of genius, of, of course. Okay, so who's in the consume pile right now? I'm out of space down here, though, which kind of sucks. So we'll do um, Fatal Melting. Definitely probably the best choice for that. All things considered. I'd love to be able to use Furnace Tap on this guy, but... Stealth. Also, if I do Stealth, it's they're going to end up burning out anyways, so... I guess we can get two lifesteal. 
when I what would I mold? All right, I'll, I should be fine this time. As long as I don't do the stupid thing that I did last time, which was very stupid. Yeah, so I don't- I really- I don't even need to play anything, and I'll be fine. It's good to know about the endless thing, though, because I can use that to my advantage. In a few different ways. Whoa! See, like, that's the thing I don't get. If burnout triggers, why is, why don't I get, like, two morsels every, every time? You know? Like, it's weird that they, like, picked and chose what things get to trigger during the, uh, Relentless. I keep calling them rallies. They picked specific things that trigger during Relentless and others don't, I guess. Like, it doesn't technically count as the end of a turn, but it does count as the end of a turn. It's weird. Maybe I'm- I read the description on the candle people wrong, and it explains it better. Um... Reform a unit and enhance with an additional plus 10. I mean, it's expensive, but that's kind of cool. Um, a second fatal melting, though, could be really cool. Considering I already have two zero-cost reforms. Granted, they don't give plus 10 damage. But I feel like the amount of damage this does for the cost is probably better. Yeah, it's because combat doesn't resolve. There's a difference between combat resolving and, like, the end of a turn. And technically, like, yeah, I, it's... I get it. Reform gives plus five, though. Yeah, but two mana for plus ten is me. Um, could get Cannibalize. I think we'll probably do that. Or Excavated Embers. More Morsels. More, 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 more Morsels. Let's do more morsels. I like morsels. They're beautiful and cute. Um, okay, we can dupe a card, heal, and do that thing, or we can get an artifact, gold, and upgrade units. Um, which card is causing confusion? So it's the burnout effect. So, burnout on these candle guys, at the end of the turn, it ticks down. And it even says, counts down every turn. But the thing is, is that it triggers each cycle of combat during the relentless phase. Whereas other things like resolve, triggers after combat. Okay, that's not end of the turn. So, during, so during relentless, during relentless, Turns count down, but combat doesn't end. So anything that happens during a turn technically should happen every time during uh, the Relentless cycle. Which, yeah, that kind of sucks because then it makes these, like, Burnout 1 guys... This is another reason why I kind of an have an issue with them not letting you have a chance to play anything during the relentless phases. Is like this guy can go in and he only gets to attack once. Even if like, you know, I have the warden up with a ton of damage sh shields. Um, yeah, you would assume a turn is every time cards are played, but during the relentless phase that doesn't count, right? 
because burnout specifically says it counts down every turn and it was going to count down it counts down during the relentless phase so unless you have like the lady of the reformed things are just going to fucking die or disappear during bosses um okay uh what was i gonna s so if i duplicate i don't really have anything worth duplicating i don't think other than maybe furnace tap i think it's probably be a better idea to get the gold the artifact and upgrade my guys 50 percent to a, a, a chance to apply dazed when an enemy unit enters your train or friendly units get plus three hmm these both kind of suck. Um, the dazed one is probably better. Plus three is not very good. At least not with what I'm rolling. I mean, it'll give all my morsels three, like more health, like that fucking matters. I'll take this. Not the best choices. Ooh, upgrade a unit with multi-strike, huh? Ooh, spicy mamma mia. Put this on one of these guys. That plus three can keep morsels alive through enemies. Some enemies that sweep. I've seen enemies that sweep that do more than four damage. Um Multi-strike stacks, yeah. Um, I'll probably give him multi-strike. And then I can just, um, bring him back. <laughs> and then we'll give, uh, Lady of the Reformed plus 25 health. <laughs> and then we'll re-roll. <sighs> Upgrade a unit with quick. Upgrade a unit with plus one burn with burnout one. <laughs> Wait a minute. Plus five plus five. Upgrade a unit with quick. Would anyone benefit from quick? Not really. I mean kind of. Like I could put it on this guy. That actually could be really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, everyone's sharing a form. Yeah, that's true. I just have to be careful because I could run into a situation where I need the lady of reform to get hit. And he might kill whoever's, and it might cause things to burn out, but I mean, probably not the end of the world. Let's get that. <laughs> Um, I could buff her. She'd have more burnout then. Or I could just give her a flat 25 and let the burnout stay. And then she'd have 90 health. I think I might do that instead. Yo, thanks for the raid, dog. Um, I don't know if the at one extra burnout is worth it on her. I could just put it on a random thing. I do like the idea of having her with 90 health, though. Spent all my fucking gold. Where's them champion upgrades? I want my champ. I want my champ up. I fucking hate this fight. Oh god. All right. They have spell shield five. Good thing I wasn't doing this with um my last run. They didn't have spell shield on the last run.
Ah, uh. Let's see, who do we have at the beginning? Yeah, that was that's a pretty good first turn setup. And also, yeah, that this actually was pretty good. The coals. Look how many things came in that aren't I mean, it's not like these can attack right now anyways, but yeah, that's a pretty good I mean, considering four that's like better than fifty percent. So this thing's going to go away. Going to take 10 damage. We got the Morsel Maker. Ready to rock and roll. Just give him. Well, here's the thing, though. Um, he's not going to take a ton of damage, and he'll get plus two anyway. Nothing's going to die on this floor either. Because I'm concerned about these guys coming up and them all getting buffed or something. And um, them killing uh, this guy. So I think I'm going to do this on him. These two here. Ho, ho. Look at all that fucking armor they're getting. Hmm. Okay. So let's think about this. Deal 12 damage. I can get rid of all these guys. It's actually probably the best choice. Um, how much damage? 20. Let's do... That. That. Let's cannibalize one of them. Do melting. And then let's do one here. Oh, let's do um take two damage, so let's put you back here. Alright, that should be safe. Oh!
my DPS is still like the major issue. How much damage are they putting out? Hmm. This is my endless guy. I have an idea. I think, um, actually, hold on. Okay, so I and I, I don't want to lose a whole lot of life, to be honest. Um, look at how much armor these fuckers have. Oh, getting that thing that lowers their level would have been smart. See, it would be cool to put this guy in front so that I could use morsels to buff him and then recast him later. But the only way I could do that and not have him die right away... Well, actually, no. How much? Uh, 10. Yeah, that's 16 damage. I could use stealth. See what morsels we have. Life steal. Life steal is gonna be good for you. Okay, yeah. I see what I think. I know what I'm gonna do. Let's do draft here. Morsel. Drag. Stealth. This guy just got more fucking armor. Reform. Fuck it. Hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. I'm gonna take a load of damage I don't think I'm gonna take enough to die Let's see 10 I w it won't be enough to die but I'm gonna take a lot of damage Yo, what's up Griffin? Oh. Fucking sucks, bro. Oh, that's nice. Okay, um, it looks like most of these homies are gonna die. Um, yeah, they're still stealth. Uh, wax and spike would probably be smart. I could wax and spike and do a lot more damage. Because I think the final wave is probably coming up fairly soon. Fatal Melting will do 51 damage right now, which isn't enough to kill all these guys. These, this, this clan requires a lot more thinking. Yeah, it's a mix of a lot of different things. Um, should cannibalize one of these guys. Okay. Um, I 
I mean, I could boost draft one more time. Probably a good idea. I, I, yeah, they eat before they burn out, right? I already established that. Would have been nice to do fatal melting, but I don't think I absolutely need to. Oh, nice, more life steal. That way, we're not taking any more unnecessary damage. Yeah, so far I like this game a lot. I think it starts out a little narrow, just the amount of cards and the variety between the first couple of clans. But the, once you get everything on more stuff unlocked, it, it becomes a little bit more interesting. Perfect. Um... Kind of pointless, wasn't it? Not really, actually. So that guy will be dead. This will be good because it does damage to the boss, too. Let's get more life steal. No, I, I mean, I want to furnace tap Rector, but the ener I need the energy. Energy would have been nice to get instead of card draw. Card draw isn't bad, but... Um, I'll, I'll, if I can furnace tap him before the boss round, then I will. But also, it would ember drain me, so I wouldn't be able to play anything next turn, which could end up being a huge mistake. Hell yeah, my morsel is attacking the boss. Realistically, so I need to keep in mind for next time too, my other multi-strike guy, not to put him in a place where he's going to be like safe right away. Okay, what do we have here? I mean, I can clear out everything pretty much. I think the smart thing to do would be to do a lot of boss damage right now. Look at that. Almost 300 fucking health on him. Cool, cool champion. I'm really disappointed in the Stygian champion after playing all the different uh, clans now. Like, I get the appeal. Okay. So, now would be a good time. I can't actually play him here. What I can do, though, which would be smart... Cannibalize one of these dudes. Boom. Put him in here. In the back, I guess. 
Um, then I don't have enough energy for furnace tap, which is fine. Because... We can get more life steal. And I guess I'll give him some damage shield stacks. I should have I should have played furnace. You had your first win. Um I could see how the frostbite build would work. I, I wasn't able I can see how the, the like sacrifice builds can work and like frostbite can work. But just for early game, it's such a fragile hero. And I really don't like that you only get train stewards at the beginning unless you randomly get other units in your your card draw at the beginning, which doesn't always happen. I've had plenty of times where I started with only my champion and the stewards, and it always sucks. Um, there wasn't really a point for me to do that. That was kind of a mistake. I guess we'll just put him back here. Uh, no point in using this. I don't have any extra room. Alright, so 462 damage. Not great, not terrible. I don't, I don't think we'll have any problem beating the boss, but... Also, I haven't unlocked all the Stygian cards, obviously, but my other big problem with Stygian is for being a caster, like, clan, essentially, the caster class, most of, uh, not most of, a lot of their, um, a lot of their st spells straight up only hit the front row, which kind of is annoying. Oh, okay, well, we win. Ho, ho! Yeah, the points that you're spamming, so it doesn't matter. That's true. It's just, I, I, so far, all of my runs that I've done with Stygian, I did not enjoy them as the primary clan. They can be good as secondary. Also, a lot of their units, I, I need to unlock more shit for them, to be totally honest. Um, this looks like it has some nice gooey ectoplasm on it. Uh, consume, apply endless to a friendly unit. That could be really good. Another furnace tap. Uh, I don't think I want forever consumed. Um, yeah, let's try remnant pact. Um, okay, I can do draw, capacity. I'm kind of feeling like I should do more energy. Oh, people are going to say draw, maybe. I don't know. But energy, I feel like I've been having times where I don't have enough energy, especially because I have those two-cost nuke spells, which it would be nice if I could upgrade those now. Let's see, we can upgrade spells, get gold, ditch cards, or dupe. Heal, the heal is, would be really nice. So if I upgrade spells, I can probably make both of these cost less. 
If I were to duplicate anything, though, I mean, maybe Remnant Pact? I feel like I should go this way. Although not healing is gonna fucking suck. Duplicate Morsel Guy? Which Morsel Guy? The Morsel Maker? I mean, the more uh, having a second Morsel maker, maker to put with the Warden would be good. But if I upgrade my spells, I can get these upgraded. Aren't don't I only have like one more place left after that? Um Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should duplicate and heal. Oh man, it's a tough choice. I'd hate to die just because I don't have enough health going into the end. I mean, I could duplicate this dude. And have another strong triple strike unit that I can... But he doesn't have endless. Um, so I'd have to rely on bringing him back with... Uh, the other shit. Um, now let's let's duplicate Morsel Maker. Fuck it. Let's see how it goes. Bone Shaker, um random awoken consumable card, random Stygian consumable card, random Umbra consumable card. Um Unwoken, Awoken consumable is probably going to be like Thorns or Regen. Stygian's probably going to be, I forget. Umbra's probably going to be, let's get the Umbra one. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, that can help. That can help make my bottom floor a little bit more meaty. All right, let's see what we can do with the champ. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna keep going with what I have been doing with Accumulator. I don't, I mean, he's strong and all, but I, I kind of like the setup I've been doing. If, if I did this, I'd have to put him on the same floor as the, the lady. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, but then I don't really have a setup for three floors. I have more of a setup for two floors. Which is fine too, but... I mean, he'll get so beefy. Conduit Masters. Grant Multi-Strike. Yeah. These guys fucking suck. Aren't these normally the guys that you fight? These were the guys I was fighting with the final boss last time. All right. Um. Hmm. I'd love to do damage to these folks. This is another thing. I'm going to have trouble killing these conduits in the back. So everything's going to have double attack, which is going to kind of suck for a while. Yeah, the music in this game is good. 
I wouldn't say it's as good as Slay the Spire, but it's it's still pretty good. Alright, um... Ooh. So I'm gonna have to save one morsel maker for later. If I wanna set up. Hmm. Not really the best time to be putting out the lady either, to be honest. I could put out both more still makers, yeah. But then it might be a while before I get the lady and these guys are just gonna crawl all the way up. Huh. It's a tough decision. I have a feeling my next hand is gonna be full of my other creatures, so I wanna put her out. I mean, I can still give this guy a morsel to work with. Yep. Yep. Uh, now's probably a good time to be using that furnace tap. Fuck, I'm gonna take damage, aren't I? How can I negate damage? Let's see. He can do 30 damage. It's still not enough to kill him. The thing is, is if I use Furnace Tap on something that burns out, Multi-Strike is a status effect, so I think he'll lose it. I don't think it'll stay on him. Whereas, uh, like, stat buffs do stay on him. If I put it in the, on the bottom? I mean, if I put it on the bottom and he never burns out, then yeah. But my with my endless one, honestly, I'd be better off. Uh, Multi strike would be best if I put it on Rector, which I am going to do this turn. I'm just trying to think things through. These guys are doing uh, 16, 32. That's a lot of damage. Okay, let's furnace tap on you. Let's open up these morsels. Eater gets three. Hmm. Kinda not what I wanted. So, um, one, that would be five, sixteen, yeah, there's really no way to, to tank through that.
I'm gonna save the spike, I think. Uh, still not ideal. Still, I should have done something to so that I wasn't gonna take damage. But oops, I didn't realize he was gonna have one health left. Fuck, that was a mistake. damage. Alright, what do we have now? Gotta do 63. I can do 30. Ooh, this is a bad fucking time for my the Ember Drain. God damn it. This one won't do damage if I put it too far up front. Um, I guess more space on this floor. Oh, this is gonna suck, dude. This is not, not good. Pull. I guess it's good I got that heal. Okay. God damn it. Okay, so whatever endless card, it's important to keep in mind if I make something endless, can you make your champion endless? Because I could make the champion endless and just bring him back uh, during the boss fight. I mean, this isn't a major boss, so I don't think I'll have any problems. I'm just wondering if I should use it on him. Or maybe the lady? I think I only have one more round anyways, so... Let's try it. Um, and if I put another drake here, I can kill this thing. Yeah, the warden's fine. So everybody gonna die here, apparently. Um, I can do this first. And then I won't have mana for Morsel Maker.
He's gonna kill her, like, right away. I mean, the damage shield would help a bit, but... You know what? I could put a bunch of um, morsels in front of him. Um... Let's see. Realistically, it would be like 30 extra damage. Does quick apply to the whole floor? No, it only applies to the one unit. Which actually, if I put him up here, it's probably the best place to put him. If I put him up here, he'll kill both things before they have a chance to attack. bring back this guy and stick him in front. Still not going to do a ton of damage, but I guess that's my best case scenario right now. How much um, do I have Ember Burn still? Ember Drain, I have one. I think I'll be fine. Maybe, maybe not. 951. Yeah, I should be fine. Don't use the wax spike on this fucking dude, though. Let's remember that real quick. Just to be safe, let's put him up there. Does this guy have tramp? He has trample? Um... The extra life steal. Like if I put this guy here. Oh, he's gonna fucking peace out anyways because of his stupid shit. Um, I could put another multi-strike guy on, or I could get another thing of life steal. Another thing of life steal would basically be an extra hundred damage. This guy would, would be burning out anyways. Lady doesn't really make sense at this point. Um. I think that extra life steal is the best option. Yeah, see that 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 makes me win. Sweet. Yeah, this the the candle people. You, I have to slow down and think a lot more than I do with like the Hellhorn. I really wish these dudes summoned every cycle. That would be, I mean, I guess it would be cheap, but it would be cool. All right, we're very low on health. Fatal melting. I kind of don't want to take any of these. I feel like I probably already have too many cards. I mean, another fatal melting wouldn't be bad, but they just, they cost too much. Two is feels like enough. Another another reform with plus ten attack. I think I'm gonna skip. Shroud spike kill uh, morsel unit trigger eaten and gorged abilities as if it had been eaten two x times. Cave-in, descend friendly and enemy units. 
Maybe I could, um... Hmm. I got the shroud spike. Fuck it. All right, so yeah, this is where the Seraph fight is. So this is my last chance. Oh boy, what a choice. I get coins. I need the heal. I think bottom line, heal, duplicate. I should still be able to afford a trinket. I need the heal though, for sure. Uh, at the start of your turn, add a common or uncommon morsel unit to your hand. When a card is with consume is played, deal 30 damage to the front enemy. When a card with consume is played, restore five pyre health. I mean, Please explain in great detail why uh, you like this game so much. I'm pretty sure I explained it the entire stream. Um, the morsels, the extra morsels could be cool. How much did that cost again? 145. I can also duplicate a card. a tough choice. I'll probably re Oh, man. So here's what I'm thinking. An extra morsel per turn is cool and all, but I don't think I really need it. And instead what I can do is I can spend the money to reduce the cost of my nuke and re-roll and hopefully get another cost reduction and then I can duplicate and maybe get a zero cost nuke. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Yeah. Ooh, hold over, hold over, hold over. We got hold over. Um, it wouldn't be an infinite free nuke. It would be an infinite one cost nuke. Which is still very good. Yeah, I need the re relic that increases slots and spells. True. Um, I mean, holdover and molded makes me always have a zero cost enemy that or uh, um, thing that I can play. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll have a zero cost nuke. And then we'll do holdover with molded. I mean, not really any reason to do that. But I mean, I have the gold, why not? Sure. And then let's duplicate. Um, Yeah, let's duplicate. Uh, there's no reason. I mean, this would be cool to have two of. But yeah, duplicating the nuke is probably a much smarter choice. Yeah, it's either two free u units every turn, but that also is going to fuck with my card draw. 
if I have two holdover cards, I, I'm always gonna, I mean, they basically swap out for a unit instead, right? But, um, hmm. I feel like Fatal Melting is a better choice for Holdover. Because I, I can just use it every turn for free. And that and damage, clearing out, you know, the back waves has always been my problem on this run so far. So um, let's do that. And then let's go fucking probably die. I have 63 health. Friendly units enter with sap three. Fucking hell. Um, let's see how our starting draw is too. I'd rather not scum this one again. Not a very good starting hand, to be honest. What do these guys have? Multi strike? Oh my god. Um, they have multi strike and slay trigger uh, plus two and restores five health. Hmm. I can't have I don't have a way to sacrifice something right now so that I can do a little bit more damage with this what are mod comments twitch has a thing where you can where mods can post comments on user accounts so like to track like if you know they got timed out for a certain reason or if they've been you know acted a certain way you can leave a note it's like your permanent record at school or something kind of it's just notes um hmm holy fuck that sap is brutal this guy is quick um, I could make the the quick guy endless, which might be a good idea. But no, he's one I I want to be able to bring back over and over. I think. Oh, this is gonna be a hard fight. Fuck. So I either deals 30 damage there. I mean, I might as well put him out. I kind of feel like I should hold on to Remnant Pack until I buff up a unit a whole lot, and then I can put Endless on it. Yeah. 
Oh man, look how much reduced- fuck. The sap thing is gonna fuck with- Sap is really gonna fuck with my guys that I keep bringing back to life. Might as well play this. Oh, that gives him more armor. Nice. How's this dude gonna get plus 40? Oh, is it... Wait. Is it because of these getting eaten? Oh yeah, that triggers for him too. Fuck. Uh. Yeah, I don't have very much faith that I'm actually going to be able to win this fight. Dude, the sap too is just like, I can't do any fucking damage. If I put Crucible Warden out, no. Fucking hell, dude. This is not good. save that. I really want to put the warden out, but he'll die. And I'm going to take a lot of... I'm going to take fucking like 30 damage. I'm going to take a lot more than 30 damage. I might die. I'll try one more time. I I don't I think with this draw I th I think with the cards I think the cards that I have can beat this fight, but I think with my the draw that I have, I don't know if I can make it happen. I should have ditched more cards. Let's try something different. I don't think I can win this. I'd have to retry it probably like a dozen times to get the one perfect like order that that actually works.
And that sap just fucks me up too, like really bad. Oh, with the extra space, that's actually pretty bad. Now that I see how that's going. Yeah, this is fucking brutal. Hmm. I'm not gonna be able because I put him on top too, that's also gonna fuck everything up. Yeah, like he my my 30 damage units only doing 12 damage. It's shit. Yeah. Like, I can't even, these guys are, basically, my strength is, like, my str normal strength is something they completely can abuse. Because these guys are just going to keep stacking armor. And there's really not much I can do about it. I mean, my best hope is that I survive long enough to have enough units die that I can start using the, um... Look at all this damage, dude. Give her damage shield, it's barely even gonna help though. Yeah, I don't think there's a way I can beat this. At least not with the, the draw order that I have. Like, I... So... Realistically... Let me try one more time. I want to try one thing. I, so if I were to do it, I'd have to do it. What I'd really have to do is make it so that I wasn't taking advantage of basically my champion's main thing, which is harvesting from the morsel makers because these guys just get armor every time from my morsels. So if I'm going to have the Morsel Maker anywhere, it should be like on the top floor and that's it. See, this guy will get armor if I kill this thing too.
Yeah, I don't think there's a way I can win this. Between the sap, the amount of damage they're putting out. Like my my deck, I haven't even drawn drawn any of my um, my reforms either. Like all the stuff that my deck is kind of built around, I'm just not even getting. I mean, and like one of my strongest units is only capable of putting out like 12 damage. Uh, and I need to do like 100 times, or not 100, 10 times that. Um, like this, this wave can handle morsels, but there's no point really. It's going to do two damage. See, he gains, that's, he gets even more. And that's the thing is my, um, there's, there's no hope here. There's just no way. Even if I had more health. Like if I can just, if I had the card draw or if I like, there are a few things that could make this work, but for the most part, like having more health would be nice. Is this is one. Oh, I sure wish I could kill all these guys. Can you put damage shield on your. Yeah. Even just even if these guys even if I block them from getting buffed. So I think the only way I can actually even come close to doing it is if I just don't use morsels at all. But then my spell will be a lot weaker too. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a way to do this. I might try one more time. I have an idea to try one more time, just using, like, no... Yeah, silence would be really fucking nice right now. Yeah, there's no way. What, did Vinny start streaming already? That was pretty early. Yeah, maybe I'll just end then. Um, I don't think this was a good run though for for rank four. This was a really good run for my first time using the um uh, the the dudes too. Clubhouse games. I don't know what that is. Hey, game level. Subsuming blade, piercing, deal five damage. Yeah, that would have helped with clearing some of the back bros. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. Flicker's liquor. When you play a unit, a random uh, card in your hand is reduced to zero for the turn. 
Wow, I've been streaming for five hours? What the fuck? I thought I've only been streaming for like two and a half or three. All right, now, yeah, now's a good time to end anyways. Uh, engine upgrade. This is for Umbra. Consume uh, minus one uh, capacity, but plus one energy. Teeth of gold. Deal two damage to the rearmost enemy unit when a morsel is eaten. That's pretty good. Sweet. All right, so, um, yeah, next time I play this is, you know, next time I play it. Yeah, Subsuming Blade, I can see with holdover, like, reduced cost being really good. Um, and, yeah, look at how many more melting cards there are that I don't even have unlocked. Same with Stygian Guard and Umbra. I do really like Umbra and Hellhorn together, though. It's a nice combo. And I like Hellhorn and Awoken together as well. Stygian, I'll have to play some more with, but. Defeat. All right. Um, well, that's it for Monster Train. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, quit out of this. Um, I might, like I said, if anything, this month I have a lot going on, so it might be like maybe one stream a week, but maybe more depending on how things are going. So I guess we'll see. Um, anyways, uh, ooh, where's my thing? All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and raid desert, uh, desert P. All right, I hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. Thanks for coming and hanging out for uh card game. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Peace.